Okay. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me well? Good, great, Perfect. good. Good. So oh, I have I to say... I've spilled water all over my suit, so that was oh. probably highly appropriate, I like I pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to call this tour the Urine Palace Tour. People were saying, you can't call it the urine. You know, we're all full of urine. Each and every single human being is full of urine, but you can't call it the urine palace. It's not even, it's not even a swear word. What, what freaks people out is strangeness. It's like if you start using words or you start using pieces of music in, in ways which they're not used to. And these people in record, on, on record companies and on tele, television, that's what freaks them out. It's, 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 it, it, with us, certainly, I mean, it's, it's, the, it, it's, it's the strangeness. If you, if you swear, it, it's like comedies like that as well, you know, if you swear, but you swear in an acceptable way, if it's part of a kind of a movement, part of a, a, a genre, it's fine. It's not that I say fuck more than a rapper would say fuck, but it's the, it's the fact that I've got makeup on, and, you know, and it's the fact that I've got a bowler hat and I'm playing an accordion, and, and I'm singing in a high voice, and I'm saying, singing about masturbation. It's not, it's not even the, the fact that we're incredibly obscene. I mean, we are incredibly obscene at times as well, of course, but, you know, and, uh, but it's the weird, it's the weird, the context, the weird context which makes it, I think, freaks people out and, and, and alarms them. When I have signed record, major record contracts in the past, um, I've walked into the music shop and I thought, now I wonder where the album is. It's, hit, it's there somewhere, you know, because you're on EMI or you're on Warner Brothers. So you, I know it's going to be here somewhere, but where? You have these, these categories of music. You have, I suppose you have rock, you know, you have world music, you have jazz, and you have uh, maybe folk, I suppose. Now, that was kind of, I think, what I thought uh, making music um, was about, really. It was about trying to actually break down the cliches and the categories and try to make something which is um, in, in some way unique and, um, you know, undefinable. And unfortunately, I suppose, in some respects, that's actually been something which I've had to, to live with and uh, probably is you know, severely limited the success of, uh, of the Tiger Lilies. From that, I hear lots of times descriptions being like best kept secret or <laughs> things like that. Yeah. Well, we wish we weren't. <laughs> exactly. My wife actually, uh, we were at a concert of yours um, when she was pregnant. Uh, Kick the Baby Down the Stairs was on. Oh, right. And yeah. Yeah. she loved it. Mm -hmm. And she said that while it was going on, the baby actually moved Just around a kicked. little bit. So that was actually. <laughs> Kind yeah. of fun. Great. Um, we have also kazoos oh. that we put out, and oh, so fantastic. I would like you to have that. Oh, great. Well, we we play kazoos. In fact, we we were playing a kazoo in the uh, in the sound check. Oh, so really? That's quite, quite quite a nice kazoo. You it's, haven't got you haven't got you haven't got any more of you. We could, I could give give a couple more to the Adrians if you got any. No, I think that we should totally do it. Oh, now they're going to run back and get us some kazoos, Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> no, no. I was changing the battery and the sheep. Lastly, I was just talking about how um, you had an effect on my unborn daughter uh, when Kick the Baby Down the Stairs came on. She uh, went really crazy. Ooh. And she's been really crazy Ooh. ever since. So uh, <laughs> could you describe briefly your, your role in the band, what you do? Well, I try and play the drums and also, as you just mentioned, hit the drums with a, a doll, a baby doll, after bouncing it in the air. And it's a, sort of alive, you know, its arms are moving. And then I reluctantly, because he makes me, play the drums with this uh, baby. And uh, it's a quite powerful song, actually. Here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have yes. to run back to the office and get more kazoos. How many kazoos do we want? What's this for? What? <laughs> What's it for? <laughs> you think so? Yeah, good one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no, so I was just thinking maybe we. What do you think? I mean, do you think we could do with a couple more, or do couple you think? More, yeah. Yeah, we have a whole help? bunch of different colors too. So how come we'll you've got no kazoos? Back. I just came in late on this, and I'm I'm a bit kazooed here. Groupie backstage live, backstage oh. live, groupie.com. You can carry around, play it, have some fun with it, and everything like that, and it makes us a little bit more professional. <laughs> Once again, here with the Tiger Lilies, 
Uh, thank you guys so much for sitting down with me. Thank you very much. Pleasure.